Yo, what's going on guys? Today we're at my buddy's couch flipping business. He's 23 years old, making 30 plus thousand every month. So I figured let's give you a tour. Let's see if he's here. Hey! Yo. What's up guys? What's going on brother? How you going Eric? Good to see you. Yeah man, you too. This is it. This is it right here. All right, I need the tour. This is it, so. You got more couches than I thought. Yeah, yeah, so how, it's. How many couches am I looking at? Probably about 30 with the pre-owned inventory as well. These aren't just one then. Like this isn't just one couch? No, so that's what you're looking at right here. These two right here, these so cloud I was, modulars. I was gonna say, it looks more than 30. Yeah, so you. we just got those. There's 20 sets of those, 120 pieces individually. It, and it then I got a, a handful little, of pre-owned stuff. It left. looks a lot different than the last time I was here. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not selling you stuff, you're selling new stuff now. Right, right. Yeah, we're making that transition. So we started pre-owned, now we're moving up to the, to the new inventory. Wow, it goes deep. Definitely a different market goes deep what was you know what was the whole uh thought process on the switch up i mean weren't you doing good with the used yeah so with the used it's definitely a hustle it's definitely a lot of involvement um it's a lot of uh taking action on picking up it's it's a it's a hustle right. so with doing this it takes a lot of the hustle out of going to have to pick stuff up constantly having to That's bring true. it back and then having to clean it make sure it's like brand new condition Sometimes they're in worse condition than you thought. That takes a lot of time, a lot of work, and then you have to obviously stage photos and whatnot and just keep that constantly rolling. When did you guys get all these? Uh, we got these about a week and a half ago. Oh, okay, so yeah. you just picked them up? Yeah, literally, yeah. Man, there's so much I wanna talk about. Where, where'd you get all this? Yeah, so I'm sure you're familiar with Alibaba. Uh, AliExpress, Alibaba, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, like a wholesale. Drop shipping, wholesale. Right, right, so we went on there and this is our first shipment, so they do a lot of overseas suppliers and stuff like that. We found a good supplier on there that was pretty reputable. They do a lot of revenue annually and we just kind of sent it. Hopefully you don't mind me jumping to the good stuff, but I mean, what do you make? How much money are you really making now? We, we gross revenue wise 30 plus thousand a month. 30,000 a month? Yeah. So, I mean, you got to think though, that's revenue. That's not complete profit it's a constant reinvestment so but yeah we we bring in 30 plus a month yeah as What's of now up? yeah so all right let's let's put it in this frame then so how much did you spend on all the new couches this year just the product alone was 17,000 just for the couches then what we didn't know and what we weren't really informed on is it's a lot to get it shipped to the US from China so we were told about 3,000 to get it shipped to our warehouse, blah, blah, blah. But really it was like nine grand. It was 3,000 to ship it to the US. Then they have like port fees and duties and stuff like that and customs. And then once that's through, then you have to work with a, with a freight, a trucking company to then get it shipped to the warehouse. So in, all said and done, total, it was- What would you say the expense was? Uh, right around 26,000. And what do you think you'll gross on all these? We're shooting for in the 50s, uh, probably high 50s, right around there, mid to high 50s. So right this, now we this, have them listed for, for 2,800. Dude, that's 20, 20, I just did the math, 24,000 net. Yeah. This ain't even a quarter of the space in the warehouse. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we could have this place completely packed out and considering this warehouse's size, it's, it's a good size, but in the grand scheme of things, it's really not that big, but we can still How, how big is this? 2,800 square foot. Pretty big. Yeah. Um, Bigger than most people's homes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I, I think another, another big question. So like, how did you really get into all this? So I started with, I was working a job, like full time, I was doing car sales. And I thought that was like my dream job. Like I thought I was set and, oh. and I was like, dude, if I can just grow in, in car sales, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, you, I knew you were so, working at Cadillac. Yeah, yeah. So I did that for a bit, about a year. I gave it a good shot. Um, and then I had gotten COVID and 
the people, all my friends around me, they all make their own money, they're entrepreneurs, whatever. So I'm thinking, I'm like, man, I'm wasting a lot of time. And I saw that video Ryan Pineda had posted. Yeah, I was like, I had that realization of like, I'm just wasting my life away right now. I'm just working, going to work every day. Yeah. So I saw that video, Ryan Pineda. I'm sure you've seen it. It's like how I made eight grand a month couch I know flipping. what you're talking about. Yeah, so I watched that and I was like, okay. So I, I was like, you know what? Let me just try it. Screw it. I'm going to try it. So I just started picking up. Anything but I can get my hands on. You didn't on. have a warehouse, so wh where no. were you putting all them? Just in the house, like the sunroom. Okay. Oh, in your house. Your yeah, or home. like the shed. So, <laughs> yeah, literally, I just started picking up anything free on marketplace. Anything, nightstands, dressers, little plastic lawn so chairs. So go on Facebook, on marketplace, type yes. in what free? Just in just the search bar. Free stuff, or you, there's apps that alert you when like free, free stuff. Freebies. Freebie That's alerts one, right? is a good one that alerts you when like free stuff is listed in your area. Uh -huh. And I mean, it's a hustle. You gotta be like on it and be willing to like go out and pick stuff up within like a 50 mile radius. Um, I, I can remember one time we were just, this is maybe probably like probably when you were first getting going, we're out on the boat, his boat, we're just, you know, cruising, whatever. And uh, you're just having a good time. And you're like, yo, 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 we gotta go back, we gotta go back. <laughs> There's a couch, look at this couch, 700 bucks. Didn't we end up going back? I think we ended up booking it back. I don't remember. I can't, it was a while. But I remember you were like freaking out and I know you were doing it at that time. I'm like, yo, what's he freaking out about? You're like, yo, it's this couch, man. You can make 700 bucks on this couch. Right, so it turned into, it went from picking up the free stuff uh -huh. and then I had realized, I'm like, okay, Ryan Penny is talking about making money on couches. So obviously I tried, I'm like, there was literally in my neighborhood, actually, there was a gray leather sectional. I'm not kidding. In my neighborhood, like a few houses down. And I was like, on Facebook or no, on the car? I was just driving by and I was like, all right, let me pick this up. This will be my first one. So I picked up that couch and I sold it within a heartbeat, but I had it listed very low because, you know, you got to figure yeah. out your market. Um, but I sold it in a heartbeat and I'm like, Oh my gosh, I just made $200 literally by obtaining this couch, taking a photo and listing it on Facebook Marketplace and then just bringing it over to someone. All right, so not the time that it took to like, all right, yeah, I found it to the time that it sold, but like the actual work you put into it, like how much work did you actually put in to make that 200 bucks? Okay, so it, it depends, but for that situation, for that free one, I literally picked it up on the side of the road put it in my truck, which is not that hard. Yeah, a lot easier than people think. Um, and you, you know, you just strap it in the bed of your truck, bring it back, unload it, take a couple photos, store it, and then you list it, you wait for someone to hit you up. But honestly, from the time that it took me to, for someone to give me that 200 bucks and deliver it to them, I would say, you know, it takes you 10 minutes to get photos, maybe a 30 minute ride. I mean, I got lucky it was in the neighborhood. Did you deliver it or they picked it up? I delivered it. So you realistically, it's like two hours worth of work from start to finish. Yeah. So. Most, most jobs don't even pay that up. No. Yeah. Do you, now you said you delivered it. Do you charge an additional fee for that or no? I personally don't. A lot of other guys do. And I feel like that's one thing that I've seen a lot in this market to where people will pick and choose kind of, cause there's a lot of competition. But that's one thing that stands out to people is like, oh, I don't have to pay for delivery. But yet I do like- Are raise... you marketing it that way? Like, hey, no delivery on this? And you know, is that, cause like, I feel like if somebody knows they need delivery, a lot of like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would feel like I would hesitate to ask for delivery since you're not offering I it. do, I market, I say it available for pickup or delivery. And 90% of the time it's, it's delivery. Okay. So. Um, yeah, but I do people, if people ask, I just say, you know, they're like, is there extra charge? No. So, and they love that because then the, it's like a no brainer. Oh my gosh. Cause all these furniture stores are charging hundreds of dollars just to deliver it to them. Right. So, all right. So like, I'm just trying to, what's the timeline? Like how do we end up here? Yeah. So, so like how long realistically, like, all right, I'm going to go all in on couches. Like how many months of the hustle? did it take to obtain a warehouse space and get to Ooh, this level? Yeah. Um, I feel like it hasn't been that long, yeah, right? Yeah, let me think a second. So, 
I would say just under two years since I quit my job and I started just picking up free stuff. Now, as far as I should say, when I got my first storage unit and I really was like, okay, let me give this a true shot. Um, I would say a year and a half, a year and a half since I was really? in a storage unit. I went from the house, I packed up my sunroom full of like any sofa, free sofa I can get, 20 bucks on a sofa. Then I figured out sectionals work. Then you figure out what kind of sectionals and and like you just figure out your market. You got to know the product. Okay, this is going to be easy to clean. This isn't. Um, I have leads for this kind of couch, this vibe of couch, this price range. Learning the business. You call that your learning curve. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So uh, really that, yeah, I would say a year and a half because we got a storage unit. I think it was like a a five by 10 or a 10 by 20 storage unit. And I fit like packed, like a sardine can, maybe 10 couches in there. <laughs> and um, then we got this, uh, my partner and I, my partner Riley and I, uh, we got this. And we were just like, let's go all in, man. All right, I'm dying. Let's, Dude, let's it's get so up, hot bro. in here. Yeah, that's another thing. I was going to ask you what the hardest part of the business is, but I already think that's it. If you're in Florida, man, the hardest part is the heat. <laughs> well, usually I have this fan running, but uh, it's pretty loud. So you, you literally need that. Oh yeah. Oh my. I'm but we're not here. Out. We're not here 24/7. It's mainly like we're appointment based. At at the moment, obviously we want to be more of a storefront, but at the moment I'm not here all day. Yeah. yeah. So. Last question I had for the people that want to get into it: What would really be the first step? First, How do we get to your level whipping a beam, <laughs> flipping couches? So first step is number one: you need the drive um, and the, the the want to do something like this because with, with it's not easy. That's with everything. It's a hustle. Like yeah, you know, right, so this I may look it. easy. I want it now. What? Right. So you want it? Go on Facebook Marketplace and. You don't even need to own a truck. You can rent one at Lowe's, U-Haul. You can make it happen, a buddy of yours, whatever. So you need a phone, Facebook Marketplace. Everybody's got that. A truck and some drive. So what you do is you go on Facebook Marketplace, just start off by free couch or look up sectionals. Be willing to spend a hundred bucks, you know? I mean, you can get a free one, but be willing to spend a hundred bucks. You could start for free if you want. Get one for a hundred bucks, get a nice gray sectional, a nice beige sectional, maybe a white one, and make sure it's real nice. Don't make sure it's a junker. You go pick it up, you bring it back, you clean it, vacuum it, throw the cushions in the wash, make sure it's all nice. You stage it for photos and you post it on Marketplace. That's and that's it, man. And then you wait for someone to hit you up. Hey, I can deliver it. Cool. You deliver it. And what can somebody expect to make like on a typical couch? Used couch, found it on the side of the road, Facebook. So what it, could you make? It really depends on what you're getting. You could find that gold nugget on the side of the road, but let's say you get one on the side of the road, it's free. What's a golden Re ticket gonna put in my pocket? I would say on the side of the road, it could be at least 1200 bucks. Yeah. Depends on what you get. So if you get like a nice little average, just sectional, you get it on the side of the road, it's pretty clean, it's not destroyed. I could say you can get 600 to a thousand bucks, no problem. All right. So it's... I might have just found my first couch. Yeah. <laughs> Did that guy not make the cut? No, that one's going in the garbage, man. That one came with a missing cushion, so yeah. it's, yeah, it's just a lost cause. It. All right, but, I think a lot of people, one, I appreciate you. you yeah, man. Yeah. How, how can everybody connect with you? Yeah, so you can follow me on Instagram. We just started our Instagram, it's sectional gallery. Uh, also on TikTok, sectional gallery. Right now we're building a community. Uh, I'm coaching and teaching people how you can get started today if you wanna start something like this. It doesn't necessarily have to be on this scale, but say if you wanna pay the mortgage or you wanna just have a, you know, a few extra hundred bucks in your pocket, or if you do wanna scale something like this, from that spectrum, I can walk you through step-by-step, step, coach you, teach you on how to do the same exact thing. All right. Oh, cool, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up at that. Uh, definitely go link up with our guy, Josh. If you guys have any questions on this at all, throw them down in the comments. Any other videos you want me to cover, let me know down there as well. Till next time, guys. Peace.